Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. My name is Machine Builder, and today I have a pretty cool video um, to show you, or like I think to show you. Uh, it's to do with the new beta, uh, 1.15. Uh, I don't actually know when it's coming out, but it might be soon. But anyway, basically 1.15 is a bug fixes and Java parity update. So basically they're trying to copy Java edition uh, in like into Bedrock edition. Uh, one thing they did, which I liked, is items, when you throw them on the ground, they're now 3D and they spin around. Um, you can test this in 1.14 and you'll see it's different. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I like that, because they're like, thick. Uh, okay, also, they did a huge revamp on structures, um, which you can see I was testing that. I have these everywhere. They're very annoying, no block things. Um, super obnoxious, I don't like them, I don't know why I did that, uh, but basically they change structures, um, it's mildly bad, but also good, uh, cause it's bad because my structure generator no longer works anymore, uh, well for 1.15, I've noticed there were a bunch of strange things happening with it as well, a lot of people have been, uh, talking to me about that, so I tried to fix some issues, Except, I, like, there are some that I can't fix, uh, so we'll just have to wait until this 1.15 comes out, and then I'm going to redo the, like, the whole code behind it. I'm not going to change any of the GUI, just going to redo the backend stuff to make it function with a new system. Because what this new system is, it lets you uh, use a new file format called an MC structure, uh, and that structure is one file. So, you know how my program was exporting like thousands of files depending on the size of your build? Um, well now it's just one. So it literally takes one file to generate a structure. I mean, one file for the structure and one file for the feature rule. Um, but yeah, that's literally it. It's so good because it means you can make huge packs, like huge structure packs. Okay, by the way, I'm trying to find a chest uh, with a custom loot table in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and locate uh, we'll go to, um, hmm, what do we want? We'll go to a temple, it's called TP, wherever here is, oh, it's this, okay, this is not a temple. Oh, the lag, loading in chunks. Uh, oh, there's a village over here, there might be a chest. Um, so yeah, structure is now one file, so I'm going to rewrite the whole back end of my program to incorporate that instead. Uh, for now, it might be a little bit buggy and you might encounter some strangeness. Uh, so that's a bit weird. Uh, but also, MC structure files are encoded in a bit of a weird format. So I need to use some external library to help me read that format. Except the external library is written by a team of developers, so I have to get permission from them to use that. So if I don't get permission, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. Uh, but if I do, then you guys can expect a huge revamp to the feature rule generator because it's going to be so much more simple basically and it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I also can wait though because I'm going to have to program it all and that's going to take a while. Uh, if anyone's interested though, I can do a live stream of programming it because that might be fun. I don't know. You can chat if you want in the chat and then I'll respond. Uh, I don't know what else you do with a chat apart from chat. These no blocks are really annoying by the way. I'm just trying to find a chest, but I still can't. Maybe there's one in here. Why is he going to bed? <laughs> okay, so here's a chest. Uh, if you didn't know, you can actually control middle click on a chest uh, in Windows 10 edition. Don't think there's a way to do it in any other bedrock version. Uh, but when you do that, if you don't open the chest first, or you don't open it, then you can place it down and you can see it's different loot each time. Basically, it copies loot table from the village, um, and it just says plus data, so it's it's got the data in that chest. So I'm simply just going to build something. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is, but I'm going to build a small structure that I'll show you. I demonstrate the one file thing. So if we do this and this, and I don't know, sure, this is going to look horrible, by the way. So there we go. So I'll be back when it's done. Okay. So the house is done, um, this is the house, it's got a zombie spawner there, uh, 
marked as a bug where a spawn eggs don't, the like, mob doesn't show up in the spawner but it's in there. Ah, uh, this is the loot table chest as well. This is the village one with gold nuggets. Uh, ancient the table, crafting table, and two torches here. Uh, but yeah, so that chest has a custom loot table and there's a zombie spawner here as well. You'll notice both of those things didn't actually work uh, before this. But if I just give myself a structure block, uh, with my program you won't need a structure block. Uh, it's just for this because it's a little bit... Um, thought my program will automatically make the MC structure file for you, but I'm just demonstrating. There's an annoying bird outside, you might be able to hear it. Okay, so I'm going to call this one... Um, home. There we go, we're going to save. Uh, include entities off. You have to make sure this is off, otherwise the game can crash. Uh, if, if there's an entity inside the structure when you export it, and then when you try load it in a behavior pack, the game will actually crash. Uh, it's a bug. I guess I'll report it. Plus, there's another bug. The chest beside the crafting table doesn't show up through the window, but it shows up through the door. That's a bit weird. I guess I'll report that too. Probably something to do with transparency. Anyway, okay. We have all this set. So these, this is the whole structure, you can see that here, thing is outlined, and I'm going to click export, and now we're going to pick a place to save it, com.load and development behavior packs, generating structures, and put it into structures, call this home, and click export, now that's done, okay, so I'm in the structure folder here, this is where I just put the structure, home, uh, so now we're going to delete out, and also GBS, we don't need those, uh, and in features, I have this because I was testing other stuff earlier, uh, plus this is me testing files and things. Um, the name of the structure is home, so I'm just going to type that there. Uh, this is the new structure format. Uh, basically that should be it though, so if I just leave the world, and now go back in, uh, also, mm -hmm, capture the flag map coming soon for anyone who's interested. It's almost done. Uh, so yeah, you guys will enjoy that. Okay, so now if I load back into the world, uh, I change the uh, file in the structure because the structure was already set up to generate. That was the no block thing that was super annoying. Uh, but now it should be generating houses. So if we explore some unloaded chunks, I guess just teleport away. Here we are. All the lag. Okay, everything is loaded. Cool. And you can see we have a house. And you can see, look at that, loot tables. Uh, this zombie spawner works as well. Let's do this. Oh, it's probably too bright, actually. Maybe it's the enchantment table that's too bright. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can see it works. You can make custom dungeons now. So that's awesome. So that's the thing. Uh, it also randomly rotates the structure by default, so we don't need to generate full rotations of it anymore. And you can see this is rotated this way. Everything inside is correct, unlike the other version, because I like left out some blocks. Uh, long story. Anyway, so basically when this beta comes out, it's going to be great, and I'm going to update my program for you guys. Uh, and also, thank you to Daekon Black Rose for doing a tutorial on the program. That was super helpful. Thank you a lot for that. I appreciate the shout out as well. It's great. And thanks to Forge Logical as well. Uh, both their channel links will be in the description. Uh, Forge Logical was super nice about it as well. And he did a tutorial as well, which I encourage you to check out because if you just check out all of the tutorials, then you'll know so much about it. And then you'll be professional structure maker. Anyway, I will try not to change anything with the program, I'll leave it how it looks, and I'll leave everything where it is, and I'll just change the backend and change the method of exporting to an MC structure file instead. Uh, so basically that's it, yep, the structure generator should stay the same, so you should know how to use it, and you can still watch the old tutorials, because they'll still be valid, and just, it'll change the export method, and I'll make a, I'll make another tutorial on just like where to put the files. Uh, for it because you might need to move them somewhere else because you need the structures folder and everything 
Uh, but apart from the output, apart from moving the output files, everything is the same. So you'll still be able to set up your structure, and just you'll still be able to do all that. All you have to do is move the output file somewhere else. Uh, but that's it. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, also, the beta is pretty awesome, but it did break a lot of technical stuff, which I won't get into. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching and liking and also subscribing because I know that's what you're about to do, isn't it? If you're not already, you're going to subscribe, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, yeah you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See ya.